So it's about 11 o'clock and there's still a large number of people coming in from the Mickey and Friends parking garage. But I thought I would take this little detour on my way through downtown Disney because there's a cute little photo op that's just been set up in honor in honor of the Muppets Haunted Mansion special. Let's go check this out. There are regularly really cute things set up here. Uh, most people miss them because if they're coming from the Toy Story parking garage, they're not going to walk by this. And you don't always see it from downtown Disney. But it is really cute. I love Haunted Mansion, I love Muppets. So obviously I had to come check this out. Look. Oh, that is so fun. Can you see her change? I can't really tell from my viewfinder on my camera, but she changes. That's really, really cool. So you have the stretching room portraits, but Muppet style. I love this photo up here. So it says, here is Pepe, king of prawn. Prawn, but not forgotten. And we have Gonzo the Great. He who lies here never faced his fear. R.I.P. Then you got the Haunted Mansion in the background. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, who else is so excited for this Muppet special? I really, really cannot wait. And then this is the final side. They even have a Muppets version of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper, which is so much fun. So as I mentioned, if you're walking from the Mickey's and Friend parking garage, you'll be coming from that way. And it's just there before you make your way to Disneyland. And if you're coming from downtown Disney, you can take this little side path here. And you'll see like the main shop World Disney's just there. But we're not going to World of Disney just yet. We're gonna walk down to the other end of downtown Disney and pick up one of those pumpkin scavenger hunts and see if we can find all the pumpkins while we do a little bit of shopping. So before we head to downtown Disney, and do the pumpkin scavenger hunt, I wanted to show you this amazing Oogie Boogie display. So I don't know if you can read that, but it says this is all treat. There are 13 hidden Mickeys in here. 260 pounds of powdered sugar, 380 eggs, 220 pounds of rice cereal, 95 pounds marshmallow, 80 pounds butter, 120 pounds of dark chocolate, 480 pounds of fondant. And it is over four feet tall. So that's all edible. I kind of want to try all of it. It's such a tummy ache. So from here, can you see any of the hidden Mickeys? Trying to see if I see any without moving. So there's some people looking at it and they don't want to get in their way. Let me know if you see any of them. We'll go check out the other side too. Make sure you check out the back of it too because this pumpkin right there is actually what is putting that projection onto the back of the cauldron. It's a little tough to see right now, but I imagine at nighttime it'd be really stunning to see. I found a hidden Mickey, you guys. Only one of the 13. But yeah, if you are a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, Oogie Boogie fan, or just a Halloween fan in general, make sure you make your way into the Grand Californian Hotel Lobby. That's where you can find this, just across from the check-in desk. So I just picked up my Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit. It's a scavenger hunt in downtown Disney. And you can pick up this board from the Pin Traders, which is just next to the monorail station. And when you're done, after you've found all of the pumpkins listed here, you can turn this in for a tumbler. The total for this is $9.99, so it's not too bad. And you know, it's something fun to do today, especially since the parks are so busy. And I've been wanting to do one of these for a long time. So we're gonna try to find all these pumpkins. 
Now on the back, you'll see they have stickers and the stickers are actually what all the pumpkins look like. So it does help you find what you're looking for. Once you find them, you stick them on this side. So I think the first one we're gonna look for is the Star Wars Trading Post, cause that's towards this end. My plan is to start at this end, work my way down towards the World of Disney store, do a little shopping in World of Disney, and then on my way out, collect my tumbler. So there's supposed to be one around here. And I was told they're all up high, like on the roof. They're usually not in plain sight. So let's see which ones we have to find. So you have the trading post. It looks like they kind of group them in order of where they would be located in downtown Disney. So we have the Star Wars trading post, the monorail station, and then World of Disney exterior waterfall. Oh, I already found the one over the Star Wars trading post. It is a BB-8 pumpkin. Can you see that up there? Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Do you see it? That's a really cute pumpkin. That's actually a really good idea to paint your pumpkin like that for outside of Halloween. We usually carve our pumpkins, but maybe I should paint them this year. And that one can be found at the top left-hand corner of the Star Wars Trading Post. So the pumpkin at the monorail trading or the monorail station is a little bit harder to find because you're not going to see it unless you walk to the other side. So if you put the monorail station right here and then look up. I don't know if you can see it because it's really bright, but that's actually the Daisy pumpkin. So you can actually find your first one right after you buy your scavenger hunt board because it is right above the pin traders. Right up there, right next to the pin trading sign. And if you can't tell what it looks like, I believe it is a Pinocchio pumpkin. There you go. So that's what it looks like. I can't see the feather from here. I don't know if the feather fell off or if it's just not viewable from this angle. That's three down already. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Here it is. I was just telling you, the monorail, it's running on a regular schedule. They have two with the trains going, so you can see it every, like, three minutes, it seems. Oh, it's so good to see that again. Okay, and the next one is going to be just at the top of Ralph Redder's Jazz Kitchen. Okay, so as I was saying, my battery died, but I was going to show you the next pumpkin. It's right above Ralph Brenner's Jazz Kitchen. So that one is the Tiana pumpkin, and it's really fitting at Ralph Jenner's Jazz Kitchen because it's a New Orleans style Cajun restaurant. And I believe there is another one just across the way at Splitsville. So let's go see that one next. And even if you're not doing the pumpkin scavenger hunt, you can see amazing pumpkin displays throughout downtown Disney. Each of the little sitting areas in the middle has a different pumpkin display. And you should really check it out at night because Downtown Disney is lit up very beautifully at night, especially during the holidays. All right, so at the top of Splitsville, we have Baymax. And this is legit the easiest pumpkin design ever. So if you are feeling lazy this Halloween, but you still want to put a pumpkin out, may I recommend the Baymax pumpkin. All you need to do is paint it white and one black line, two black eyes, and you're done. So that one can be found outside above the entrance to Splitsville. And then right next to the Disney Home Store sign, you can see the mini pumpkin. This one's probably my favorite. I think it's pretty simple, but it's very cute and effective. And while we're here, there's supposed to be one above the Uva bar and Marceline's Confections. There's actually supposed to be several here. Let's see if we can find, okay, found it. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall over and it's really bright, so I don't know if you'll be able to see. Got a pumpkin up there too. Can't tell what one that is because it's so sunny. Oh, I think it's a goofy one. It looks like the goofy one. And then if you walk your way over here, there's supposed to be one above the salt and straw and Marceline's confectionery. So they'll both be right around here. I can see the salt and straw one. That one looks like a Pluto. I'll make sure we walk over so you can see it. I don't see the Marceline's confectionery one yet. The Pluto one's really cute. They put the ears on and the nose. I really like this one. Another great idea for a pumpkin if you're painting them at home. So I don't know if you saw that one, but the Donald one is actually 
inside the window at Marcine's Confectionery. So you're not gonna find it if you're looking up on top of the building like all the others. That one I almost didn't find. I like this pumpkin display a lot. I love the, the orange, the green, the purple. It matches the M&M holiday colors for Halloween. Okay, I lied. The pumpkin above the Starbucks is actually my favorite. I saw this one when I was here a couple weeks ago. It is a Mrs. Pot pumpkin. Really adorable. That one is just next, it's on top of the Starbucks that is next to World of Disney. Now, there are supposed to be two World of Disney ones. There's one at the entrance and one at the exterior waterfall. And I think the only other one that we still need to see is La Brea Bakery Cafe. So we'll head down there and see if we can find those last three. All in all, I'd say the scavenger hunt took probably 10, 15 minutes. And none of the pumpkins were particularly difficult to find. I didn't spend more than maybe 30 seconds for each one trying to find it. It's a fun little activity. I'm here by myself. I don't have kids and I'm enjoying it. It's, it's making me look at things in downtown Disney that I normally don't spend time looking at. And it's making my trip up here today, I think pretty well worth it. Let me know in the comments below, do you take time to do any of the scavenger hunts around Disney parks? I did the Easter egg one once. I think in, did they have an Epcot? I went to Epcot over Easter once and I remember they had Easter eggs everywhere and that was a lot of fun. Especially for people that come to the parks a lot like I do, it's nice to have something different to see or something different to experience. So this is the La Brea Bakery. We'll pass it just before you get to the entrances for the parks. And there's a pumpkin around here somewhere. And I already know where the pumpkin by the fountain is. It's up in the tree. It's another one I saw last time I was here. You can see we got a little stitch at the base of the uh, tree trunks and then up there we've got one for Lilo. So I got my fountains messed up because this is the fountain outside the World of Disney store. The one where I found the Lilo and Stitch pumpkin is outside the Brea Bakery. So the Moana pumpkin is at this fountain across from World of Disney. And the Lilo and Stitch is at the fountain across from La Brea Bakery. So sorry for that confusion. I said it was easy, but I guess not easy enough for me. I just found a little hidden Mickey. So that brings us to the last pumpkin we need to find. And we are looking for the World of Disney entrance. This is the World of Disney exit. So I don't think it's here. So the final Mickey pumpkin for me is the Mickey pumpkin, Mickey Mouse. And it's right next to the World of Disney store, um, the World, World of Disney store sign, but it's not at the entrance, it's not at the exit, it's actually at the exit in the middle of the store. So if you went to the other exit and couldn't find it, that's why it's not at that one. So this is what your board should look like towards the end. And then once you've filled out all the stickers, you can go back to that little stand across from the pin trader and you'll be able to turn in your board for a souvenir tumbler. I think they have a choice of four and you get to pick which one you want. And as I mentioned earlier, you don't actually have to do the scavenger hunt. You, you're paying $9.99 so you can just pay for the board and then go turn it in and pick up your pumpkin or your, um, your tumbler. But what's the fun in that? I enjoyed walking in downtown Disney gave me a little exercise. It's a beautiful day here. It's not too hot. And I got to find all the pumpkins for this Halloween season. I actually think that I would probably do this again for Easter. So I finished my Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit. Give you a good look at all the pumpkin placements. Sorry if it's hard to see. It is quite sunny here. I tried to find some more shade for you. So all the stickers are gone in the back. Oh, so after you buy it, you'll see, where are they? Right here. They put the little stamps on it just so you have like proof of purchase and then once you pick up your tumbler they put like a completion stamp on it. I think you have a choice of three or four. I picked this one. So it says Halloween Magic. So I thought that's pretty fitting for my channel, Disney Cable Magic. And it's got Minnie Mouse dressed up as a kitty cat. And I actually just bought a Halloween pin 
that had that Minnie Mouse with her kitty on it in honor of my cat Coffee Bean who I lost recently. So that's why I ended up going with this. I, otherwise, I would have gone with the purple ones. Purple's my favorite color. But nothing too fancy. It's just got like the paper inlay. They probably use the same tumblers for all of their seasonal um, scavenger hunts that they do. But it does have a nice little closed lid. I honestly don't know what I will do with this because I have quite a few really good high quality tumblers, but maybe I'll just put this on my bookshelf for my collection. So I hope you enjoyed coming around with me today as we kind of just walked down downtown Disney, we did the pumpkin scavenger hunt, went into Disneyland, tried a few Halloween treats, and avoided the incredibly large crowds today. Hopefully next time I come it won't be so busy so I can take you guys on lots of rides. And again, I just want to say thank you for being patient with me. Um, I had to take some time off in September due to losing my cat Coffee Bean. I had her for 15 years. Uh, she's my best friend, so it was really tough on me. I'm doing a lot better now, but I got so many wonderful, sweet messages on Instagram, so thank you all so much for that, and thank you for just letting me take the time off that I need it. And then I lost my voice, so I ended up having to take another week or two off. But thank you for coming along with me today. I'm Rachel Cable. This is Disney Cable Magic, and remember, magic is out there.